Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to episode two of Life is Strange. You guys showed so much support on episode one, so we are gonna do part two, and it's already starting. So shh. Called film little pieces. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey! Oh, that headbutt. I remember Max. that. Chloe? <laughs> it makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's grass, I bitch. Out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Correction, Next, big ass tornado. Tell me everything. Here we go. Episode two. Everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. And also rub your hands together. Because Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I said everything before it disappeared! Yes! Can I get a hallelujah? Okay, Max rocking the booty shorts. And looking like she's wearing a shower curtain. Yeah, wake your sleepy ass up. We got things to do. Yeah, get up. Hi, sleepyhead. Being what are we doing? Is dirty work. I need to shower. You ain't no superhero. Calm your ass down. Can we turn this off? Let's stop it. It's enough. No more of that. Chloe. What'd you say, Chloe? Damn, it's a lot. You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. Too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint. I thought saving your life was more important. Boom! Max delivers the final blow. But for reals, we need to talk. I need you standing with me on this. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at Two Whales. My treat. Sold! It's good to have minions. Gotta bail, master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Okay, cool. So in 40 Even minutes, we got things to do. shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Yep, Chloe like no is amazing. So now we need to take a shower. Do we need to bring some clothes? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Hey, stop talking now, to your clothes. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? <laughs> I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, Max is so funny with the jokes. Where are your... Oh, wait, let's make the bed. We gotta be nice and tidy, nice so and clean. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Do you guys fix your bed Thanks, when you wake Mom. up? Don't lie. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, where are my slippers? Slippers. Do I have a location on the slippers? Where the fuck are the slippers? Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Mm, not a frog watch. And I just saw the shower supplies. There okay, it is. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Let's... I guess you guys gotta close your eyes for this one. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, My of Sherry, course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. Pretty little so one that I adore. You're the only one my heart beats for. Hello, housekeeping. She's Fine, probably fapping. I won't fapping. disturb you. She won't disturb me. Kate's room. Let's be nosy before we take a shower. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Even though we got that stank breath, got that hot breath. You know what? I don't want to talk to anybody with my hot breath. Except this guy. Hi. Gross. How Vortex are Club you? are such pigs. Oh, Juliet, that fine ass. I'm glad I Whatever they're watching off. must be hot stuff. I didn't think mm -hmm. Kate was like this. Taylor's room. Macking on those bros. Wait, the showers Wait. are over this way, I remember. Yup. Showers. Oh, it's Kate. Hi, Kate. Brushing your teeth. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? 
I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No problem. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. We won't forget that. Remember, bring her book of October... whatever it's called. October something. See, we already forgot. Hey, no peeking. Alright, Kate. And you guys too. Anybody under the age of 18. Don't watch. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for the magic. This is awkward. I feel like a stalker watching a girl shower. Hey. Don't turn around. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. What a bitch. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. I don't like her. We should have done that mean thing to her, like mess up her photos and all that. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. You're I just saying that. that. I'm so quirky, crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Such an evil biatch. Is that how girls talk? Biatch? <laughs> biatch is it? That's not even funny. Such a follower. Can we reverse time on that thing? What the fuck? <laughs> so you shower, then put on the same clothes that you slept in and probably drooled in, and the same shorts you probably I farted get in. I and go give back Kate's book. What's this say? Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. She has her own link? Katesvid.com? What the fuck? Don't you have to pay Even for a domain stop name? One person from watching it, it's worth it. This action will have consequences. Well, good. Let's wash our hands. Okay, let's wash our face. Water. Sorry. I forgot. Oh, somebody else is showering? Who's showering in there, huh? Who is it? Okay, I think we're done here. Yep, nothing else to look at. Wait, there's something else written on here. What does that say? Hold to another universe. Look at this. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Ah, uh -huh. I get what you're talking about, Max. I get it. I'm not a woman, but I get it. On flow, huh? She's not visiting you this uh, this time period? Oh, we can run really fast. Oh, yeah. Da -da 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 Where is there? My room. I was trying to go to Victoria's room to erase like any links on our computer, but I think that she just wrote it on the mirror, so we're good. Whoa. What the uh, hell? No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up what after I find Kate's book. Yeah, we're gonna get some revenge. That is not cool. Let's look at the message. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. So it was Nathan, not Victoria. I thought it was Victoria. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Okay, that is really creepy. Let's pull that away. P 
Put it away, not pull it away. What does pulling away even mean? There it is. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Oh, no. Okay, let's look here. And nothing here. Nope. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Of course you just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better well, fix this fast. Kate needs the oh, book, yeah. and I don't want to... Fix it fast. Just go... <laughs> and move that. Be gone, foul soft drink. What is that? Beet juice? Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Yes. And we are going to go head over to Kate. Kate I plus eight. I need to get dressed before I go there. All right, Max. Goodness. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Yeah. Sure. Whatever you say, Max. Here it is. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Her whiteboard said, we'll bang for Jesus. <laughs> what? I know somebody else wrote that, but so messed up. Why are they picking on her? She seems like the sweetest thing. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. I do. Kate. I love you. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about the video? Did you party with them? Why? I'm curious. Did she actually party with them? Like, what's that whole video with the tongue thing that Victoria was talking about? Some, uh, some kind of that shit. I don't know what this whole tongue Did thing is. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. Totally, you know totally. know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Man, everybody makes mistakes. That doesn't make you a bad person just because you do one bad thing. Why would you go? That's awful. Doesn't sound like you. I think that's the most cheerful answer. Let's cheer her up or try to fill her spirits. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure? Not enough to get wasted. Maybe somebody laced her drink with something crazy, making her go, Oh, this party is kind of nice. Are you sure? Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Wait a minute. Didn't Chloe say something about Nathan drugging her and doing shit to her? Maybe he did the same thing to Kate and then did something with her. That is so messed up. Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... and... What? And? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke Check up the outside back of my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. 
Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? I feel so Thanks, bad Max. for Kate. You can put my book here near my bag. I feel so bad. That's so messed up, man. Okay. There you go, your book's there. I'm so, so sorry, Max, Kate. Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Uh, I think we have to look for proof or else it's not going to hold up. Just like any court case. If you don't have evidence, it's basically all he said, she said kind of stuff. So we need to find proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. I didn't mean it like Thanks, that. Max. Fuck. Calm down, Kate. Okay, you know what? We got to rewind our answer. I want to see what she says if we choose go to the police. Because she is tripping Good balls job, right now. Dr. Max. Okay, 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 okay. like what I had to say, but... We're going to go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. Go faster. I know you can press control. There you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's talk to her. Wait, no, we gotta go back a little bit more. Control. Yeah, just keep rewinding that shit. Keep it moving. Yep, yappity, 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 yappity. All right. I think go to the police is gonna be a better choice for her because at least she knows that we have her back. We're good. Why did you... What? Oh, shit, we went too far back. Hold on. All right, this time we are gonna choose go to the police. We'll make it more urgent. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Yeah. Okay, don't be sad. Don't be sad, baby girl. We're gonna figure this all out, I promise. I swear on your big ass woman bun. Whatever that thing is. That thing is huge. Time out. Looking Max. like it got a life of its own. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Ugh, you know what? Oh man, this is this is bad. I don't know, guys. I don't know what it's to pick. Way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. You know what? I think we need to get proof. I'm gonna back that ass up. That's gonna be my final answer, okay? I know that I kept rewinding this shit, but we are gonna pick look for proof. That is my final answer! And let's skip it, because we know what if she's gonna do... say. Sorry. But it's better to be safe than sorry, Kate. Don't worry. I'm gonna figure this all out, baby girl. I promise. Mwah! I promise. Is there anything we can look through here? Let's look at this. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Yeah, cool. Looks like something I drew in like second grade. Tissues? That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. If that was in my room, people would know that that was not tears in those tissues. Hmm. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Kitty... You will always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, pop. Aw, what a good pop. Such a nice pop. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. 
Stella! Oh, what a cute little bunny. Say cheese! Alright, don't say anything at all. Just look cute. Awesome. What's this? Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you realized your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Auntie Marsh sounds like a bitch! She probably is a bitch. Uptight, too. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. H.R. Geiger? I'm not an art head. I don't, I don't know about that stuff. Anyway, I think we've seen everything we could see. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Call us. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us at your class this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you and our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Her mother sounds like an uptight bitch too! Let's get out of here. Come on. Leave. We're gonna figure this out, Kate. I promise you. Pinky swear. And Lord knows. She knows. Lord knows. That you never break a pinky swear. Chloe. Food. <laughs> Max, food! Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast! No emoji! She's one of those. She doesn't like the emojis. It drains her life. Where is Victoria's room, though? Hold on. Is this... That's Kate's. And Victoria. Open up! This is the police! Fine, Damn it. I won't disturb you. Okay, we're gonna figure out all that later. For now, we're gonna say what's up to my baby Dana. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. My bitch Warren. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Mmm. Mmm. Why not? YOLO, baby. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, <laughs> I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Should we use this? Who will survive and what will be left of them? <sighs> Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Hmm. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. That's enough of that. That's a very boring laptop to look at. What's this paper ball? This is both sad and pathetic. Did Max just reach into her small little trash bin, uncrumple the paper and just look at it right in front of her? You know that's an invasion of privacy, right, Max? I hope you know that. You can't just be doing that. It's not cool. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? You look distracted. She doesn't look distracted, she looks fine. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Later, Chinese girl. Taylor's room. Who's Taylor again? I have Taylor no clue. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Mm, she's one of Victoria's biatches. Can we leave? Yes. Okay, so we need to figure out some proof that Nathan Prescott did something to Kate. That is my main goal. I don't care about the party that Dana invited us to. Or the breakfast that me and Chloe are going to. 
I feel for that girl, Kate. I really do. Because I, I feel like she's suffering. I could feel it. Let's talk to this guy. Samuel, the weirdo dude. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Ah. Animals! That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> He's, he seems like a cool dude. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Well, of course you will. That sounds creepy. And I don't appreciate when people talk in third person. That's like saying Jay is playing Life is Strange. Jay likes this story. Jake is gonna go talk to Taylor right now. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Alright, tell me about that fucked up haircut. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Alright. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Sorry about your mom. Private number? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this? I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Well, suck my balls. Suck my balls. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Max, come on over here. Sup, Warren? Fine. What are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. You wanted to rap? Thank you! By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Warren just said, I got knocked on my ass by that dick. You need to pause on that, Warren. You need to pause on that. Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price? We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. Don't get involved. Yeah, he already has a black eye, and he's wearing a shirt with a box or a slice of butter that says meow on it, definitely don't want him to get into deeper shit. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what? Warren seems like a cool guy. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yup. Wait, is that gonna interfere with our party that we're gonna go to? 
Hopefully not, because I said yes to Dana that we're going to go to the party. And then I said yes to Warren. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, cross swords. It just ends up going like this. Slap each other silly. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Hmm. Maybe the security guard was picking on Kate because Nathan told him, Hey, I drugged a girl and messed around with her a little bit. I need you to just keep her on her toes and start picking on her. Maybe he's paying him a little bit of that moolah, huh? Hey, how you doing, sir? I don't know. I'm just trying to analyze everything here. Everything in my mind is just floating around. The story is very interesting to dissect. Wait, gas is four, 407 for unleaded, probably. 427 for that premium? God damn! Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. That guy had a you deep ass voice. There. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Let me speak to this old fuck. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hey, don't say that shit out loud. People around here are crazy. They might beat you up for that. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Shit, with gas prices that high, I couldn't afford to live here either. Whew. You go one place to another, you're already broke because you gotta fill your gas up. Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Okay, mama. That's good. Let's talk to this guy, this fisherman. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay and the man-made drought in the bay. I'll save a bay. You want me to save a bay? I'll save a bay. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. I'm king of the harbor now. You did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Hmm. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to <laughs> learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. So basically, the Prescott family is rich as fuck! And... They are likely to own the bay, Prescott Bay. And they own the school because I saw the Man, dialogue choice. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Hold on, let me smell it. Let me smell it. Oh, oh, it smells, it smells okay. It's not that bad. I mean, this person needs to close their legs. Probably smell a little bit better. I don't need to speak to these guys. Let's go sit at a booth. Oh, this one? Why has it got to be this one, huh? This diner music, though. Damn, girl, work that diner ass. Jeez. Can I have some of your pancakes? That's not even pancakes. Those are straight and up muscles. there muffins. she is. A lovely young woman. Hey. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. 
She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Oh! Don't be so harsh on Chloe. That's it's Chloe's mom? <laughs> I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe has changed. Hmm. Let's say she understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David hit her. Nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God, don't do this to me, Max. Don't put this pressure on me, baby girl. Oh. Ugh, nothing. Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. No excuse to hit her. Yeah, no excuse to ever hit a woman and your child. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Mmm... Bacon omelet, Belgian waffle. I'm a bacon omelet kind of guy, so that's what Max is gonna have. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. All right, I'll finish my coffee. As long as I can get some of your muffins to go with it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she had an ass like, uh, but a face like, uh, so I was like, ooh. One bacon omelet for the young lady, stat. Yup, stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Ooh, those prices are scary. More scary than Chloe's mom's face. I hope nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Why has it got to be worn, though? Drink some coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep I going back in time. I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Hmm. Is that guy going to cause trouble? Oh, shit. What the heck? I did not mean to do that. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. I can hear your stomach but then it wouldn't be a moment. Here, you'll love this. Thank you. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Stop. Oh yeah. Give him the handshake. And Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. 
Ooh, just one. You All right. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? All right, before she comes back to the table, I am going to end this episode here. I know, I know, a lot of you guys are like, No, Jay, keep going! Well, that's why I am going to save this for another episode so we can have more fun in a fresh new video. So if you guys want to see the next episode of Life is Strange ASAP, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too! <laughs>